Hey, Tori here with ToriTote.com, the place to be to create a home buyers or anyone for that matter will find irresistible. Well, as you can see, I've got a bit of a mess on my hands. I am getting ready for a staging we are doing tomorrow in New York City and I needed to get a lot of accessories and I went to some of my favorite stores including Home Goods, Pier 1, and Target. So let me show you what I found as I begin to pack it away. So um, let's start with this painting. I found this in Home Goods for only $25, and it's a pretty decent size. Do you guys see that? So it's a pretty decent size, and I'm gonna put this in one of the bathrooms. All right, then I came across this paint, this picture right here, which will go great. Inside the playroom, you see that $25 again at Home Goods. You can't beat that price. All right, so this house has a ton of built ins. I mean, a ton. We need a lot of accessories and just home decor, random items to put on these shelves. And not every shelf has to be packed with something but we wanted to make it look a little bit more lived in. So I picked out a lot of glass, a lot of vases. I am not going to show you all of those here. I'm gonna wait for you to see the reveal of the staging, which will be coming up in the next video. But just to show you a little bit of what I've done, I mixed a lot of silver and gold together to create um, a more glamorized look and more contemporary look. So I bought three of these, a lot of other gold pieces, silver pieces, um, a lot of white and black. Oh, you wanna see one more? All right, I'll show you one more. So here's a silver piece that I bought from Home Goods for 20 bucks. It looks so much more expensive than that. It's actually very heavy. Um, and this is gonna go great with a couple other pieces that I picked out. I picked out a lot of furniture that is made of metal and glass and not really wood. So this is gonna create that organic woody feel um, without having a lot of wood furniture because this is a contemporary house that we're staging, but you still need to bring in some warmth and some coziness with some organic materials. So I did that in the trays. I also have a basket um, that are right here, and these can also go on those shelves. So one of the things you definitely need when you're staging a home is throw pillows, and you could use this in all different types of rooms. Um, you can easily change them out depending on the season or what color you're trying to bring in, um, and it just freshens up the space. Let me show you all the pillows I got because I love them, they're insane. I wish they could stay in my house. So I got two of these from Home Goods, and this is for that playroom that we're talking about. And these are only 20 bucks, right? So that's not a bad deal. It's got that uh, detailing on it, and obviously a little bit of a trendy uh, pattern right now. Now, this is for the media room, and I absolutely love these. These are going to be so comfy to sit with. Check them out. They remind me of sweaters. They are so plush and comfortable. I adore this. And it just sits here and reminds you of fall and winter. What else is cozy and comfy than a pillow like this, right? And this is from Tahari. Retailed at $50, but it was only 30 bucks for us. Sticking on that sweater theme, we've got two more of these, these brown, uh, thicker sweaters. Uh, this is from Tommy Hilfiger. Again, this is priced right around that $20 mark. Now, these two pillows I just found at Target. Again, this is probably gonna go with that sweater theme. Um, we're doing a lot of texture in this particular staging. 
Um, a lot of neutral colors, a lot of textures, but as you can see, we are bringing in some cranberry. We're also bringing in that teal in the family room. And of course, another pillow from Target that I love. I'm not really sure if I'm putting it in one of the bedrooms or on one of the couches, but it's got that nice furry feel and it looks a little bit richer and glamour, glamorous than most pillows. Next up, we have four bedrooms um, and we need four things of bedding. Um, my assistant actually got all new pillows, um, but I was able to get a bunch of queen sheets, um, twins, and also comforters, because you need those as well. So, um, this is a queen sheet set that I got on sale for 40 bucks over at Home Goods. Here's another one for 20 bucks. This is a twin. Uh, again, another queen sheet set at Home Goods. And this one's got gray stripes on it, dark gray and light gray. This is going for the boys' room. I also got this amazing throw, right? Don't you just wanna like cuddle up with it right now? And um, this is gonna go in the master on the bed, I think, um, or possibly on the chase because we decided to put a chase in there as well. Now, um, I'm also putting this. It's like a Chanel velvet blanket on one of the beds. This is gonna be the comforter. Check it out, I also found a Nate Berkus Queen Duvet. Um, this was on sale, only 60 bucks at Target. It's white, it's gonna go amazing. And I actually got, um, hold on. I told you I got a mess here. Um, so I got these queen flannel sheets to go with it in gray. It's gonna look amazing, white and gray, with that furry throw over top of the bed. It is going to look so comfy to sleep in. So um, these are the flannel sheets that we got as well. As you can see, I'm packing this all in a luggage. I like to do this when I am going to be staging, uh, especially in Manhattan, because a lot of times you're not allowed to bring up big boxes or bins or other things into um, just the local elevator. They'll make you take um, the freight elevator if you have all that stuff. So if you pack it in a suitcase, they really don't stop you. It's a lot easier to get through. You don't gotta wait for a lot of people, so that's what I do. So I also found some towels um, that we're going to be using. We have three bathrooms. Um, so this is from a Nicole Miller collection, which I absolutely love it. It's got like that shimmery gold on it. I also found this other set. It's called uh, Hotel Vendom, again from Home Goods. I love it because it's got like a quilted texture on the top um, and a lot of detail, even though it's a white towel so it looks rich, rich and luxurious. You can't really forget the little things either. Um, and as you can see, you know, I got a tray, I got some bath stuff, um, just some little journals and everything. I'm gonna put it in the little girl's room um, and make it look like a diary by her bed. Uh, some other smelly soaps and things. So you don't wanna forget the details. Um, and we certainly have not forgotten them here in this staging. All right guys, so there you have it. I mean, I don't wanna make this video extremely long. Um, please see everything, all the accessories I bought for this staging over in the next video. I will post a link to that below once it's available. Um, again, it is 110 Duane Street. That's the staging. That's gonna be the title of it. Um, 110 Dwayne Street, so just letting you know. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about everything I found. Um, I mean, 
there's so many good things. I don't even know which is my favorite right now. I'm probably not gonna know until once I see it in the actual space. But I'm really excited to get started here on this staging. I'm just packing everything up and getting it ready for tomorrow. So um, be on the lookout for video two. Thanks for watching and for other home staging tips and decorating tips, be sure to check us out at www.toritoth.com. Until next time, happy selling.